So now what we need to do is that we need to create here the files and folders that we need in order for our project to work successfully. So first of all here we need to create the main starting point which is going to be the index. So here I'm going to create a new file and then I'm going to name it index.js. This is very very important. This is going to be the main file, uh, the main starting point where whenever we want to run our application this file is going to serve as the provider of everything pretty much everything it's gonna it's gonna connect uh, the the uh, modules with the front end with everything so this is very very important the second thing that we need to create is a folder called public so here what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a new folder called public and this folder is gonna contain the CSS and JavaScript and images so here I'm gonna inside that folder I'm gonna create three folders. I'm going to say here new folder. First I'm going to create the CSS and then I'm going to create another folder here new folder which is going to be the JS and finally I'm going to create a third folder for the images. I'm going to say image IMG. So we have here in the public three folders CSS, image and the JavaScript. Now in the CSS I'm going to create a file called main dot CSS and in the script in the JavaScript here I'm going to create a new file called script dot JS so now we have these three folders and they contain the main dot CSS and the, the script dot JavaScript so this is this should be the 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 content of the public folder the last folder that we want to create is the views. The views is very important because the views is going to contain the HTML code. So I'm going to here create a new folder called views. And then inside that folder I'm going to create a new folder, another folder called pages. Pages. And then inside that we can create any HTML file that we want inside that uh, pages. But I'm not going to create uh, these files now, the HTML files, because I'm going to create them whenever we want them to, uh, whenever we want to work on them. But for now, you need to know that in the views, we have a folder called pages. And inside that pages, I'm going to create the HTML. Whenever we have an HTML file, I'm going to create it in the pages.